What's up guys, my name is Andy, and on today's video we're going to replace a part that I broke on my 1966 Mustang in a previous project. On the bottom of the, the driver's seat there are four bolts that go through the floor and then you put nuts on them to hold them down to the car. They're old, this car is 55 years old, and taking those nuts on and off over time it just weakened the bolt and I broke one of those studs in the seat rack, or the seat track, and you can't replace just that stud. You have to replace the whole seat track. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. So let's get started. So let's take a look at the parts that we've got for today. These are the pieces that, when you buy a track set, you buy one set gets you one seat. Uh, and uh, so just be careful when you buy that, you're not ordering two seats worth. Uh, this is all the hardware that we're gonna need. And then I also got um, just four new nuts that hold the seat down underneath because those ones are getting kind of corroded on the car anyway So hold on to those and these are the studs that I was talking about. You know, you can see You might be able to maybe press these out and put a new one in on the, uh, the Factory set. I don't know, but really for the price of this set. It's just easier just to buy one whole rack set or, or tr seat track set and then and we'll assemble it now there's a lot of parts here, a lot of pieces. Oh, here, I want to point this out. These are the these are the studs that hold this system to the bottom of the seat frame. And I like that they include these. Uh, you can buy them separately, but I like this kit came with them because when we pull these out, these may be corroded as well. And so it'll be nice to, to have a set here and not have to reuse the ones that are on the, on the car. When you take the seat out uh, of the car, you're going to want to either take a picture or be you know, because because of all these pieces that go in here and how this stuff is hooked up and everything, it's it's a little more complicated than I like it to be. So when we pull that seat out, I'm going to snap a picture of the bottom of the seat to make sure that I've got everything because the seat's hooked up correctly right now. And when you start taking all of these springs and stuff off, it can be really easy to be confused on where everything goes. So let's grab the seat out of the car. Uh, thankfully, this is a project that you don't have to jack the car up. Uh, this is all something you can do with the car sitting in your driveway. Um, and so let's get under there and we'll start taking it apart. All right, first thing we got to do is pull off these little uh, plugs that kind of protect the, the fasteners uh, from getting rust and water and what, whatnot. Um, and also, when you're getting inside here, you're just going to need just something, uh, a half inch deep socket will work. But if you've got one of these, uh, these ratchets, it does make things a little easier. This is the one that I broke, so obviously that's why I'm not finding the screw there. And these are those screws now, or these nuts. Now, this one's probably fine, but as cheap as these are, let's just go ahead and get some new ones to go with the new seat track pieces. All right, here is a chance to see uh, what we've got to work with. On mine, this is actually not as rusted as I was expecting it to be. I figured this would be a lot worse. Um, your guys' seats may be better or worse, but I did notice that the spring that goes from here down to the back of the, of the seat frame is missing. And that explains kind of the difficulty you have when you're adjusting your seat. If you kind of feel like you're doing all the work, um, that's probably because this spring might be missing. Also notice, this isn't doing us any favors when it's loose like that because as you manipulate this lever to move the seat track it's supposed to pull over here and allow this one to come loose but when this is loose it's not going to do that so I think the best thing for us to do oh here's those studs and uh, these look pretty clean they're not as rusted as I was expecting them to be uh, but there's four of those but we're going to go ahead and put new ones in here uh, here's that busted stud um, that uh, the reason why I'm doing these uh, it's not as new as looking as these, but even these these threads are They're not very happy. So I think it's a good time to replace this track when you do this I recommend doing one side at a time because if you take the whole thing off You may forget how these connect So if we just start by taking these two studs out and take this track off And when we go to put the new one on we can hook up this piece 
where it goes on the new piece on the new track and then we'll replace this piece and then we'll come over and we'll do this part and the last thing we'll do is we'll put this the spring that goes on here All right, that explains the problem I was having on, I was wondering why this system was so much shorter than you know, what was on the car. There, somebody, oh, I wonder if they made it so that it was for a taller person and they just added that on the end. That's probably what they did. Okay, so that explains why I had to have a, a wrench to take the nut off because the, actually the hole is right here for this piece because it would fit right there and then this one would go right up there. So that makes a little more sense. Also, now the reason why we're doing this one at a time is I noticed that this hole right here is where this was attached. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook, kind of get this in place, and then we'll replace this piece next, and then we'll go back and do that one. And I'm, I'm guessing that the same thing here, I'm gonna have to use an, a, a wrench on the back side of that, and I bet you the hole is somewhere right in here for this track, because look, you can see that somebody had welded on. Uh, yeah, that makes some more sense. All right, so we got everything in place. When you're tightening this up, you can just spin this center piece until you get it so that it's nice and snug. We don't want to over tighten it because you'll bend this cheap metal, um, but it needs to be snug so that when you actuate this arm up here, it'll pull this lever and move everything. Also, uh, on this return spring here, uh, it goes here, which is easy, but down here, um, some people may have a hole in the frame. This hole was, was added because they put those lengthened uh, rails on here, but on mine, there's a place here that you can that you can hook that on. Some people may have a hole in their frame or they have this little latch. Uh, that's what we're hooking onto and that just puts that spring in place and now these are uh, ready to go. So we'll go ahead and put this back in the car and it's the same as uh, as removal. So we'll just go ahead and just put these these new studs, just put them through the floor, put those nuts on and, uh, and then you try the seat out. Probably to make this a little bit easier, let's just go ahead and, and do this by hand up first just so you can, you know, you'll feel the, when you put this on here, be careful, you can lose this inside, inside here, but when you put this inside, you'll f kind of feel that stud, and once you find it, you can just go ahead and start threading, and really, once you get it in place, then you're good to go. We can just move on to the next one, and then we'll come back with that uh, ratchet and, and, and sync everything up. Again, we're using those new, those new nuts just for this new assembly.
uh, fixed. Um, I mean, they're really, we weren't really changing the dynamics of how the seat slides and stuff. Uh, we, with that return spring, it will make it a little bit easier. But the important thing was is replacing that stud on that track so that I've got that seat secured in the car in case there's an issue. Um, also, don't forget to uh, torque those, to tighten those nuts down when you're putting those in there. That little ratchet thing I have isn't good, good enough. You have to go back with a, with a socket wrench and, and torque those down. Uh, so that's it. The track's in there. Everything works. Um, guys, on that spring piece, you know, that's this thing right here that, that goes across. This little metal nut thing that's meant to, to shorten the threads is, is weak. Um, guys, be careful with this piece. Uh, it, if you tighten it over too much, you'll stretch this thing out. It's just not meant for a lot of, uh, of abuse, uh, and you don't have to do a lot to get this to be tight. Um, and then be careful too, when you're threading this piece in here, you can cross thread. These, uh, this little, these little threads on here, you can mess those up pretty easily, so just be careful with that. Um, you know, and if this piece that you have in the car is still good, maybe you just use this piece, because uh, if it's not cross-threaded, <laughs> that might be uh, something you want to do. So, all right guys, that takes care of that. Another easy fix, something you guys could easily do in less than an hour. Um, if you're doing both seats, maybe an hour. Uh, there's, it's really simple to go through and do these couple of bolts, couple of nuts, and you're done. Guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And if you subscribe, it also helps my channel out. And I do appreciate that. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one.